Sponges have two layers. The outside layer is called the ectoderm. The inside layer, made up of collar cells, is called the endoderm. Periphera means pore bearer. And sponges have thousands of incurrent pores that bring water, nutrients, and oxygen into the sponge. They also have one excurrent pore called an osculum. The osculum gets rid of waste, water, and carbon dioxide and acts as a simple excretory system. To have water into the central cavity, the flagella of the collar cells beat to create a current. Water, nutrients, and oxygen enter through the incurrent pore and stick to the collar cells. Collar cells digest the nutrients and transports the digested nutrients to the amoeboid cells for further digestion. Oxygen also diffuses through the collar cells to the amoeboid cells. From here, the amoeboid cells act as a simple circulatory system and transports the nutrients and oxygen to other parts of the sponge. The amoeboid cells then will transport carbon dioxide and waste from the other parts of the sponge back to the ectoderm. Waste and carbon dioxide will enter the central cavity through the collar cells. From here, water, waste, and carbon dioxide leave through the excurrent pore called the osculum.